Hey, what's up with you guys? Hope everybody's well. I wanted to give you today a little deep dive into how the makeup of liquidity of Uniswap is. I'm using, again, uniswapri.com, the tool, probably many of you uh, know it already, where you can track uh, liquidity pools, the yield of different pools, and if you've invested, you can really track and manage your liquidity with Uniswap. The URL is uniswaproi.com. Now, I was here on Uniswap, on uh, actually DeFi Pulse, and which is this great tool that allows to track all the different DeFi apps. And I was looking at Uniswap. Typically, when I look at the liquidity locked, I look in terms of Ethereum rather than uh, USD because that's a more, in my um, opinion, more accurate representation. Now, you can see here what happened is like around January and then maybe in uh, sort of February, there was a big sort of injection of liquidity and then withdrawal of liquidity. So basically, it's going into a pretty stable um, for a stable quantity of, of Ethereum locked um, terms of liquidity, but I wanted to actually take a look and see, okay, what are the pools? Like what's the balance between the different pools? And I was really sort of, I mean, I tracked this for a few days and so it's not the news, but think about this, like a lot, if I, you know, go into Uniswap RI and go into the pool section and sorting them by the highest liquidity, you can see that the top liquidity pool is this uh, Ethereum X these days. And it's actually having a lot of impact of, on the overall liquidity. It's 35. Right now, the, the current liquidity, only the, for the Ethereum part, because you know that, you know, obviously you need to contribute with 50, 50 of Ethereum and token. So the Ethereum part is 35, or more than 35,000 uh, Ethereum locked for this pool, which is more than, or oh, pretty much uh, double the amount of Ethereum locked in the Ethereum synthetic is the Ether pool, which is the second largest one. So a lot of the um, liquidity is actually locked in this uh, Ethereum X, which I discussed in the last video, uh, you know, is, is X a scam, a lot of like that's, whatever, um, got a lot of reactions and negative reactions, say, oh, you're promoting a scam. I don't really know, I mean, from what many people say, and this looks like this pretty uh, unknown and shady uh, multi-level pyramid type of thing. Um, but I'm just looking here from a perspective of purely Uniswap and the pools. And it, that's also like, if you go on Uniswap Info, which is the official info website of, of Uniswap, you can see that the liquidity in USD for this pool is $14 million. Now, in dollar terms, I think the liquidity total is about 44 something million dollars. So out of 44, 14, almost 15 <clears throat> are represented by this X pool. And um, yeah, and then, I mean, the reason why it's so, <clears throat> excuse me, it's so, it's so large is because the price has been increasing a lot. There was a lot of increase in the, in the, in the, on a volume basis, um, probably because like there's a lot of marketing activity and PR going on on the side of X and people promoting this stuff. So you can see the volume has been really going up a lot. And at the same time, the price as well has been following um, even in a, a, you know Ethereum terms. So, I mean, I just wanted to point out here that this, is this is, to me is very interesting because it looks like the community, Ethereum community doesn't like this stuff, doesn't like X, but since the um, Uniswap is, so, is really decentralized, there's nothing you can do to prevent people from listing this stuff, which by the way, this was uh, not an official Uniswap pool, but it was added by a user. And so, so much that even if you go on the um, you know, Uniswap info website and you really just get the uh, find a token uh, search bar, the first result is really X, which is because this is sorted by liquidity. So this is really like, you know, what decentralization means. Like once it's decentralized, one Uniswap is, is you know, out, you know, off the races, out to the, uh, the, the real world, people can do anything they want with it. They can list, you know, even if you go and you find, you invent your own token, you want to list it, you want to promote it. Maybe, you know, maybe it's legit, maybe it's not, but nobody can really come in and, and uh, um, prevent you from doing that. So that's, that's my consideration. That's an interesting consideration. Let me know what you think in the comments about this situation, this X. I really don't know much about it or whatever. I, um, not, I, I'm more interested in the X with, regarding Uniswap. If you have any, any insights, uh, let me know. If you like consideration of, around like Uniswap and DeFi, specifically decentralized exchanges and liquidity and investment, um, please, you know, give it a like to this video or subscribe to the channel. We, we talk about these topics all the time. Uh, and until next time, have a great one, guys. Enjoy your week.